Welcome back, and here we are again in the Flat Guides. But what are we doing today that's different than what we've done in the past? Well, I came up with the grand idea of what if I went and gave myself 10 blocks, but let it be randomly generated, and then we'll build with those 10 random blocks to see what we can get. We'll do one house at a time, and no other rules. We're just doing random blocks. It could be any width, it could be any height. The goal is I have to incorporate all 10, though. I can't leave one block out, and we're going to see how cohesive of a build we can make with just 10 random blocks and go from there. Our first step, of course, is let's generate 10 random blocks and whatever 10 blocks we get, that's what we build with. So, moment of truth, what do we got for me? Okay, some concrete, oak log, dark wood oak, wool, pink concrete, okay. I think, I think we can work with this. And here we are with our blocks. You can see we had three concretes that came out of this, a couple logs, one slab, which is nice, we got some polished blackstone, one wool, and then the tough one I think here will be this diamond ore. Where am I going to put this diamond ore? I got an idea, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So, we got our tin blocks, let's go ahead and just see what we come up with, and we'll come back here and revisit.
And well, uh, here we are. Our first stab at it. Uh, I, I believe I got everything incorporated. Obviously, I, I struggled the most with the black stone. I didn't really know where to do it. And then having two types of wood and it was all a thing. But my idea with the wool and the diamond pattern floor actually worked out pretty well. So I thought that was nice. And then I kind of debated about like the wall. So I kind of put a little design in here incorporating all the different types of uh, concrete we got. But yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and let's do it a, another try or two here and see if we maybe get something a little better than this. I'm, I'm not really satisfied. We're back again. We're going to hit another random 10. So let's see if this gives us a little bit more luck than we had on the last one. Okay, the black stone is back, but now it's a slab. We still have another wool. Wool, see mossy stone, bee nest. Oh no. Okay. Wait a second, this is... What? Alright, so we have black stone slabs again. A second wool, so we have two wools now. Some terracotta. Another slab. Brown terracotta. Bee nest. Brown concrete. So we have three slabs? Okay, well... Let's see. Let's see what we can do about this. Alright, we got the ten new blocks. Some new. Uh, the bee nest will be interesting, the gate as well. This is probably going to be the hardest one yet, but I, you know, I mean, look at this. The brown concrete and the terracotta are like identical, so we can easily play around with those and get something good. I am excited for having three slabs. I could make some interesting roof combinations. So let's get started. All right, uh, interesting. The slabs, obviously, I just resorted to a roof kind of situation. But again, like the wool on the ground, a little pattern. The terracotta here is kind of like the entryway and then a little checkered pattern with the brown. I know I called out the fact that they were pretty similar in color, so I easy move. 
and then throwing on a little bit of the gates gives it a little extra umph and then i thought the beehives actually kind of almost look like columns to some degree uh maybe if i did this ooh, it would even look better yeah so i can almost see those as like columns in a way so yeah maybe maybe that looks a little bit better but we'll go one more shot i, I just feel like there's got to be more. There's got to be more than, than just making these kind of boxy builds. But we'll see. I, I've never used this generator, so we'll see if it sticks us with similar blocks again. All right, final, final go at this. We'll do 10 again. Please don't give us the same stuff. We, need, we want some variety. All right, brick wall. Another gate. Great. Wool, log. Some concrete, nether brick, carved pumpkin, okay. Uh, red coat, okay. And a couple, sl gosh, a couple slabs, but we'll make it work. This, this looks the most promising so far. Here we are, final one. We got all of our stuff. You can see this actually, this color palette actually will look pretty nice. Even the magenta with the cyan here, we know we could do something. So let's say we consider these three kind of paired up, these two, and... You know, nether bricks is, yeah, it's, it's in this color palette. These are going to be the tough ones. The birch and the carved pumpkin, they might just become decorations. But final one, let's give it a go. Right. We went with like a temple. The idea was a temple to worship, you know, the pumpkin god. And as you saw, probably right at the end, I was sitting here and I realized, huh, you know what? This does not look symmetrical. And that's where I noticed I went two over and I thought I was only one. Uh, so, yeah, that's really going to bug me. But, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like the idea here. You know, we got some colors going on. A little temple action, nothing like a little worship, but we're going to go ahead and call that a day for the video. And, you know, here we are. You can see we have some bats spawning. That's real nice because of this beautifully uh, darkly lit item has generated bats for me. But, day, let's see. 
But here we are, the build one. We did a little bit of the diamond with the floor. I think that was the uniqueness, but yeah. Then beehives, kind of getting some uh, column-esque like stuff going on it. And then of course the temple, the temple that we are going to worship our pumpkin Lord and savior. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. See you next time.